so we're gonna go over the I'll go over the MBO market by order and how to um, see it in Excel. So CR chart really recently added MBO support for market death, which is the market by order um, option to see more data in the domes. Right now what we're seeing is the regular market death with the volume at each level. So the first thing I'm going to do in this video, I'll add the MBO and how do we do that? We go into Sierra chart server settings and then I'm going to add support for um, subscribe market by order data when markup that subscribe. So click on the S. I click OK. And I need to add the MBO columns to the dome. So that is done here. Customize chart dome columns. I'll add two of them. So the bid, I'll add that. And then the ask, put the ask below and click OK. So now we have the columns here, but they're still empty because we need to disconnect and then reconnect. And then I hope we'll see these columns start to populate in just a second. Yeah, there we go. So now we see here the buy side, sell side, and then the MBO orders. And they kind of look like this, right? It's hard to see them like that, but you know what? Let's change the alignment. Um, trade, customize columns line left, a line right. Yeah, that might look better. And let's, yeah, still a bit hard to see, but there we go. So right now we can see the orders, the individual orders at each price level with their quantities and um, the order in the queue as well. So that's that. That's on CR chart side. Now let's go check out how we can use um, this function in the in the add-in, in the Excel add-in. So I'm picking this cell right here and then I go to insert function and the function we're looking for is under the um, CHT add-in and if I go to the bottom we've added this function here, the market depth MBO. So I click OK and it's going to ask me for the key, which in my case is X. Why X? Because I already have our Excel custom study here with the key of X, right? So those need to match up and that way the add-in knows from which chart to grab the data. So let's go into here and set the number of levels, let's say for 10. And click OK. And boom. So on the top, we have the upper levels from here, right? From the ask side. And on the bottom, we have the 10 levels from the bid side, and the MBO levels get, um, the MBO orders get populated into cells C and onwards, while the um, total aggregate, what you see here in these values, is going to be in the first column B here.